他将要生一个儿子，你要给他取名叫耶稣，因为他要把自己的子民从罪恶中拯救出来。这一切都发生了，是要应验主藉着先知所说的话。看啊，那处女要怀孕生子，人要称他的名为以马内利。以马内利翻译出来就是神与我们同在。若失醒来，遵照主的天使所指示他的，把自己的妻子娶过来，只是没有与他同房。等他生了儿子，就给他儿子取名叫耶稣。今天早上我哋有黄文丽宣教士喺中间，同我哋一齐去正道，佢会讲系奇妙的圣诞神迹。我哋有啊，彭尔德弟兄喺中间为我哋传译，我将时间恭敬交俾你哋。Thank you for this opportunity to come to share with you God's word. 好多谢大家俾我呢个机会同大家分享神嘅说话。Uh, it is indeed an honour and privilege.、Uh, as Pastor David said, I did grow up in this church.、Uh, 非常之荣幸，因为咧阿谢牧师求主都话啦，我喺呢、这个诶、uh, 教会长大嘅。So it is an immense, immense privilege、uh, to be up here today and to share with you. 好大嘅诶、uh, 恩典特权同大家一齐喺呢度分享。Uh, let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. 天父，我哋感谢你。We thank you for Christmas. 感谢你赐俾我哋圣诞节。We thank you for the gift of your Son. 感谢你赐你嘅儿子俾我哋作为一个礼物。We pray that、uh, as we listen to the sermon today, 我哋求你在诶分享正道嘅时候 ，that we hear your words, not mine. 我哋听到系神你自己嘅说话，唔系我哋自己嘅说话。Less of me and more of you, Lord. 让我哋诶尊主与你为大。In Jesus' name we pray. 奉耶稣基督嘅名求。Amen. 阿门。Being amazed is a great feeling. 诶，令到我哋觉得神奇奇妙嘅事咧，系好事嚟嘅。Have you ever been overwhelmed by how amazing something is? 有阵时有啲嘢令到你觉得好惊奇、好神奇嘅时候，系咪觉得好感动、好诶？ There's some things in life that you just can't explain, aren't there? 生命里边有好多嘢，有阵时我哋系唔能够诶解释嘅。Now my parents, Spencer and Sylvia, they have two children. 我父母亲啦，阿 Spencer 同埋 Sylvia 咧，佢哋有两个儿女。Me and my older sister. 我同我家姐啦。And even before we were born, 就算当我哋出世嘅时候之前 ，My parents prayed that God would both call us to serve Him. 佢哋祈祷神会诶呼召我哋两个咧系去服侍神嘅。Now now that I have two daughters myself， 咁而家我已经有两个诶女儿啦。I can I can really see what an incredible prayer that is。我先发觉到佢哋嘅祈祷系真系几咁神奇嘅。And it it will definitely be a sacrifice for my parents when both their children, their partners, and all four of their grandchildren are overseas on the mission field。特別係俾我兩個誒父母親啦，因為誒我而家佢哋誒兩個女兒女同埋咧四個孫都係咧嚇喺海外嘅宣教工場裏邊服侍。誒 ，something I find even more amazing is how God seems to have planned the exact area of ministry。而家更加神奇嘅就係神已經其實一早已經係誒計劃咗咧，我哋係喺邊一個指定嘅工場去服侍。Uh, even before I was born, my parents had already decided my Chinese name. 就我未出世之前咧，神已经咧诶定咗我嘅诶中文名啦。Yeah, 文丽。文丽。Now, so it was their prayer that I would encourage others through language or writing. 就系直接佢哋嘅祈祷咧，系使到我嘅服侍咧系以语文系嚟到咧系鼓励别人嘅。And that is exactly what is happening. 就係咁樣咧，就事實上係發生咗嘅。Now my family and I we're preparing to go to East Malaysia next year。而今年咧，我誒出年咧，我同我家人咧都會誒出發到去到誒東亞嘅地方。And I'm going to use my training and my expertise in linguistics to support Bible translation projects in East Malaysia
藉著我嘅學識同埋我喺語文上邊嘅專長咧，我可以誒去到咧係嚟到誒服侍嘅。I'm using language to bring people to God and to encourage others。係用語文咧，我可以將啲人帶到去神嗰度，同埋咧可以鼓勵別人嘅。I find it really amazing that that matches my Chinese name so well。好奇妙嘅就係我嘅工作同我嘅中文名咧真係咁吻合嘅。I don't believe it's a coincidence。我相信唔係誒咁誒巧合啦。I think God was really telling my parents what I'd do even before I was born。而其實上神係話俾我父母親聽咧，話就算我出世之前咧，神已經話咗俾我父母聽話係我哋要做啲乜嘢。God has done so many amazing things, it's impossible for us to fully understand them all。神做咗咁多奇妙嘅事咧，其實冇可能咧，我哋完全咧可以理解得曬。Have you ever been overwhelmed by how much God loves you, or how much God has done for us? 神咁愛你，或者為你做咗咁多嘢，你有冇覺得感動咧 ？We only need to open the Bible and start reading to see that God has done some wonderful and amazing things. 我哋只要打開聖經，可以睇到神係做過咁多誒奇妙嘅神蹟嘅事咧，係令我哋誒奇怪嘅。What What do you think is the most amazing miracle in the Bible? 但究竟聖經裏邊最神奇嘅一個神蹟係邊一件咧 ？There's many to choose from， 有好多可以揀嘅。Just spend a moment thinking about it。啊，用少少時間諗一諗啊。What's the most amazing and incredible miracle in the Bible？ 喺聖經裏邊邊一個神蹟係最神奇嘅咧、uh, ？The first that obviously comes to mind is the resurrection. That's pretty amazing。當然啦，係誒第一件事就係話耶穌嘅復活咧，係真係好好神奇喎，好奇妙。Not only was Jesus able to defeat death。唔單止咧，耶穌係能夠勝過死亡咧。But he accurately predicted that he'd come back to life in three days。而且咧，佢能夠準確咁咧，係預言佢自己三日之後會復活。So Jesus' resurrection is pretty incredible。當然，耶穌嘅復活係好誒難以置信嘅。And definitely, definitely the most important in terms of our relationship with God。當然係在我哋與神嘅關係嚟講咧，係呢件事更加重要啦。Or what about creation? Creation is pretty amazing. 咁但係創造係點咧？創造都好誒奇妙嘅噃。At the beginning, there was nothing。喺太初嘅時候係冇嘢嘅。And then God spoke everything into existence。咁然之後神一講咧，就一切都存在咗啦。God's power is pretty incredible。神嘅大能當然係好神奇啦。But for me, the most amazing miracle, it's not Jesus' resurrection, it's not creation。嗱，對我嚟講咧，唔係耶穌嘅復活或者嘅創造啦。The most amazing miracle is Christmas。其實最神奇嘅神蹟咧，就係聖誕節。Yes, Christmas。冇錯啦，係聖誕節。You might be thinking, what? Really？ 你會諗緊係唔係啊 ？Christmas？ 聖誕節 ？More amazing than Jesus' resurrection？ 仲比耶穌嘅復活更神奇 ？More amazing than creation？ 仲奇妙過創造？ Aren't we just celebrating Jesus' birthday on Christmas? 我哋唔係聖誕節已經慶祝緊耶穌嘅生日咩 ？What's so special about Christmas? 咁聖誕節有咩特別咧 ？I think every year we celebrate Christmas. 我覺得咧每年我哋慶祝聖誕節。And sometimes we take Christmas for granted. 誒有時時咧我哋都係當係理所當然嘅咁樣。We're so used to Christmas in the holiday period and the gift giving. 我哋喺誒有陣時放假喺度誒交換禮物嘅時候咧，我哋都覺得好似年年都係咁過啦。We some we sometimes forget that the birth of Jesus was an overwhelmingly incredible event. 其實咧，我哋好多時都忘記咗神耶穌嘅誕生咧，其實係一個非常之震撼性嘅事件嚟。In my opinion, the most amazing miracle in the Bible. 我覺得咧，呢個係聖經裏邊最神奇嘅一個神蹟。So today we'll look at Matthew's account of Jesus' birth and see why it's so amazing. 嗱，今日我哋特登咧係要睇下咧馬太福音誒。佢記錄嘅耶穌出世嘅時候，點解係咁奇妙嘅事咧 ？Let's let's look at the first verse of our passage today。讓我哋今日睇下今日我哋嘅經文第一節。Matthew chapter one verse eighteen。誒馬太福音第一章第十八節。This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. 阿耶穌基督出生嘅經過係咁嘅，佢嘅母親瑪利亞咧同約瑟訂咗婚，仲未有結婚就由聖靈懷咗孕。So right from the very beginning, we can see that the circumstances surrounding Jesus' birth were very special. 
一開始嘅時候，我哋已經睇到啦，圍繞住耶穌基督嘅降生嘅時候咧，個環境情況咧都係非常之特別嘅。It's、uh, what we call the virgin birth。呢個係我哋所講嘅係一個誒、呃、童女或者係係一個童女或者係處女懷孕。Uh, before Mary and Joseph were married, Mary was already pregnant。佢係當瑪利亞未誒同、呃、約瑟結婚嘅時候，佢已經懷咗孕。When, when Matthew says、uh, before they came together, it just means that they weren't married yet and they hadn't had sexual relations yet. So in Matthew 福音写嘅话，还没有成婚，意思即系话我哋未，佢哋未结婚，仲未有性嘅关系嘅。So before Mary and Joseph had come together, Mary was already pregnant. 所以当佢哋未结婚嘅时候，玛利亚已经怀咗孕。This means that Jesus was conceived in the womb of Mary without a human father through the miraculous work of the Holy Spirit. 意思即係話耶穌咧，藉著聖靈嘅感染咧，係唔經過不經人手誒、呃、而咧係能夠懷孕嘅。The angel says the same thing to Joseph in verse twenty。喺二十節裏邊咧，誒天使咧同約瑟都係咁樣講嘅。Verse twenty says, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. 喺二十節，天使話：約瑟，大衛嘅兒子，唔使驚，將你嘅妻子瑪利亞娶過嚟，因為佢所懷嘅人係由聖靈嚟嘅。Now in Luke's Gospel,、uh, it says the same thing about the virgin birth。路加福音咧，同樣係講誒關於呢個童女懷孕嘅事。In Luke chapter one, verses thirty-four to thirty-five。嗱，路加福音一章三十四、三十五節話。Luke records the dialogue between Mary and the angel Gabriel after he says that Mary will give birth to a son. 老家咧記載咗阿瑪利亞同天使基加百列咧係所講嘅加百列話佢要有一個兒子。So Luke one thirty four says, How will this be? Mary asked the angel, Since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. 馬太福音一章三十四節裏邊話，瑪利亞對天使話：我未有出嫁。點會有咁嘅事咧？天使回答話：聖靈要臨到你身上，至高者嘅能力要任備你，因此所有生嘅聖者咧，必稱為神嘅兒子。Now when Mary says,、uh, since I am a virgin， 所以瑪利話咧，佢話因為我都仲係一個童女、哦。The words in the Greek are actually since I、uh, have no husband。聖經原文希臘文裏邊話，其實就係意意思即係話我冇丈夫嘅。So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus was conceived without a human father. So it's pretty clear that Jesus 但喺十九世紀嚟講咧，就係好大件事啊！當時。Lots of people back then were starting to challenge whether miracles were real or not。喺當時好多人咧開始係挑戰，究竟呢個神蹟係唔係真嘅咧 ？But nowadays， 但今時今日 ，I haven't heard much about it。我哋咧就冇乜聽到佢講嘢喎。But that doesn't mean it's unimportant。啊，並不代表係唔重要啊。The virgin birth actually ties in really well with the life of Jesus in the Gospels。處女懷孕同埋耶穌喺呢個新約嘅誒誒福音書裏邊咧嘅關係係非常之重要嘅。Jesus performed many miracles。耶穌咧係行咗好多神蹟。And he miraculously rose from the dead。而神奇嘅佢能夠喺死裏邊復活。He left the world supernaturally by being lifted up into heaven。佢離開呢個世界，以一個咧超自然嘅誒被提到天上嘅經歷。So it makes sense that。He entered the world supernaturally as well. 咁好合理啦，佢進入到呢個世界時候，亦都係好超自然嘅。The doctrine of virgin birth is also important because it shows that salvation ultimately comes from God. 處女懷孕咧係一個好重要嘅教義啦，因為最終嚟講咧，我哋睇到係呢一個救恩係由神而嚟嘅。Way back in Genesis chapter three verse fifteen， 喺創世記翻翻去舊約三章十五節裏邊話。God promised that the offspring of the woman would destroy the serpent. 神咧系应许妇人咧系呢个佢嘅后裔咧要诶杀伤呢个蛇嘅。That that verse says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, 
and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. 喺第三章十五节里边话：我又要叫你同女人彼此为仇，你嘅后裔同女人嘅后裔呢，亦都彼此为仇。女人嘅后裔要伤你嘅头，佢要伤你要伤佢嘅脚跟。And here in Jesus' birth, God is bringing this promise out about through His own power. 喺耶稣嘅出世嚟讲咧，神系藉着佢自己嘅大能咧，系将呢一件事咧系成就咗嘅。It's not through human means. 唔系藉着人手。The virgin birth reminds us that salvation cannot come through human means. 处女怀孕咧，提醒我哋咧，系呢个救恩唔能够藉着人而带嚟嘅。Salvation must be the work of God Himself. 救恩一定要系神自己嘅工作嚟嘅。We can't save ourselves, can we? 我哋唔能够救自己，系咪 ？We don't have the power. 我哋冇咁嘅能力。But God does. 但神有。And the arrival of the Savior has nothing to do with human effort. 而救主嚟到嘅時候咧，係完全咧係同人嘅誒努力冇關係喎。It's all God。呢啲含混都係神自己嘅。But the virgin birth is just the beginning when we're thinking about why Christmas is so amazing。當我哋講到點解聖誕節係最神奇嘅一件事嘅時候咧，我哋睇到童女懷孕都唔係最特別喎。For the Apostle Matthew, the virgin birth was just the beginning too. 誒，使徒馬太嚟睇咧，佢呢個處女懷孕咧，亦都對佢嚟講都唔係最重要。Because it's not just about the circumstances of Jesus' birth， 因為唔係淨係關於耶穌出生嘅時候嘅環誒情形。It's about Jesus Himself, His identity， 而係關於耶穌自己佢嘅身份。It's about who Jesus is and what He will do， 係關於耶穌究竟佢係邊個咧？究竟佢要做啲乜嘢咧 ？So let's look at Matthew chapter one verse twenty one. 咁我哋睇一睇《马太福音》第一章第二十一节。Here the angel is talking to Joseph and says to him， 啊，天使咧同约瑟系讲说话嘅。啊 ，She will give birth to a son， and you are to give him the name Jesus， because he will save his people from their sins。佢话他将要生一个儿子，你要给他取名叫耶稣，因为他要把自己嘅子民从罪恶中拯救出来。So Mary's baby is going to be called Jesus， because he's the savior of the world。所以玛利亚嘅儿子咧，将要得名叫做耶稣，因为咧佢要将佢嘅子民咧从罪恶中拯救出嚟。Now the name of Jesus means Yahweh saves or God saves。耶稣呢个名咧，其实原文咧系意思系话耶和华拯救或者神拯救。It's the Greek form of the Hebrew name Joshua。系一个希伯来名诶约书亚嘅诶希列诶文嚟嘅。And now the and the angel tells Joseph to give Mary's son the name Jesus。Because this baby will grow up to be the saviour of the world. So the angel says to Joseph, "You must name your son Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins." He will save his people from their sins. 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 He will save his people But 更重要嘅，耶穌係一個被應許嘅救主。His birth was predicted and prophesied long before it actually happened。佢嘅降生係在從好耐以前未發生嘅時候已經係被預言咗嘅。So let's look at verses 22 and 23 together。首先，我哋睇一睇第二二、第二三節。These verses say, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet: the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son. And they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. 啊，耶稣第一切都发生了，是要应验主藉着先知所说的话。啊，耶三节，看啊，那处女要怀孕生子，人要称他的名为以马内利。以马内利翻译出嚟就系神与我哋同在。So Jesus' birth fulfilled what was prophesied long before it actually happened. 耶稣嘅降生系在佢发生之前好耐以前已经系预言咗嘅。Now the prophet that Matthew is talking about here is actually the prophet Isaiah. 而呢度马太所讲紧嘅先知呢，就系以赛亚先知。And the passage that he quotes from comes from Isaiah chapter seven verse fourteen. 而佢所引述嘅经文呢，就喺以赛亚书第七章十四节。Now I had to look up when Isaiah seven was written. 咁我就所以查一查，究竟以赛亚书第七章系几时写嘅咧 ？And expert, experts think that it was written somewhere around the year seven hundred B.C. 啲專家咧認為第七章咧都係大約係主前咧係七百年所寫嘅。So that's seven hundred years before Jesus was actually born. 
。呢个系耶稣出世之前咧，七百年以前嘅事。That's a really long time。系好长嘅时间噃。And it shows that Jesus' birth and his self and the salvation that he brings comes from God。俾我哋睇到耶稣嘅出世同埋佢救恩咧，系肯定系从神而嚟嘅。It wasn't an accident。都唔系话意外嚟噶嘛 ？It wasn't a coincidence。亦都唔系偶然发生嘅。It was all part of God's wonderful plan。完全都系神奇妙嘅计划。Now pretending that you're just starting out as a prophet。嗱，假设你系啱啱出道嘅一个先知。You'd probably want to predict a few small things first to gain the people's trust。你会一开始嘅时候咧，啊，预言一啲小事咧，等到诶可以赚取人嘅信心。And then you'd prophesy some big things。咁然之后你先预言一啲大事噶嘛？ You don't really want to begin by saying something like the virgin will give birth。你唔会话一开始嘅时候就话哦，处女要怀孕生子。Imagine what people would think of you。你估下人哋会点谂咧 ？But that's exactly what Isaiah starts off。但呢个就系以赛亚一开始嘅时候已经咁讲。Now the, the book of Isaiah is sixty six chapters long。以赛亚书咧系六十六章咁长嘅。I don't know how chronological those chapters are。我唔知道呢啲章節咧，究竟係唔係跟時間嘅斜次序落去咯 ？But chapter seven seems like it's near the beginning。但係第七章咧，好似都係一開始嘅時候。In chapter six, Isaiah talks about how he became a prophet。因為喺第六章裏邊咧，以賽話佢，以賽亞話佢自己咧點樣成為先知嘅。So it seems like chapter seven is near the beginning of his ministry。而好似咧咧，第七章咧就係佢誒侍奉嘅開始。So imagine how he must have felt when God tells him to prophesy that the virgin will give birth。你估下佢个会感受系乜嘢咧？因为神叫佢话处女要怀孕生子喎。It's a pretty unbelievable prediction。系好难以置信嘅预言系咪 ？And as far as signs go, it's not exactly a public one。而且在神迹嚟讲咧，呢个亦都唔系一个公开嘅神迹。I mean, if you prophesy that a country like Assyria or Babylon is going to be destroyed, everyone's going to see that。假如你話預言呢、这個誒、啊、好似一個誒亞述或者巴比倫國家咧將要被剷除嘅時候咧，人人都會睇到嘅。But a virgin giving birth？ 但係一個處女懷孕生子。Who's going to see that？ 邊有人見到啫 ？And how would you go about proving that？ 你點會證實咧 ？And it's not as if there's any certainty that it will happen in Isaiah's lifetime。亦都誒唔係肯定話會發生喺以賽亞一誒生平嘅時間裏邊嘅。In the end, the prophecy was fulfilled 700 years later。结果咧，呢一个预言咧系七百年之后先至应验嘅。Imagine how hard it was for Isaiah to make such an unbelievable prophecy。你谂下，系对以赛亚嚟讲系几难去诶讲呢一个预言嘅。But it was true。但系呢个系真嘅。It was fulfilled。而且应验咗噃。It actually happened。系实际上发生咗嘅。A human being couldn't plan a prophecy like this。人唔能夠係設計一個咁嘅預言啦。It wasn't Isaiah's plan。亦都唔係以賽亞嘅計劃啦。It was all God。冚棒都係神自己做。Jesus is God's promised saviour。耶穌就係神應許咗嘅救世主。God always knew that we would need a saviour。神一向都知道我哋係需要一個救主嘅。And God had always planned that Jesus would be that saviour。神一路計劃緊，耶穌就係呢一位救主。The fulfilment of prophecies like the virgin birth prove it。係應驗咗呢一個誒預言咧，係藉著呢個處女懷孕咧，已經證實咗。Salvation all comes from God。救恩係全部係由神而嚟嘅。The fact that Jesus' birth was a fulfilment of prophecy is pretty incredible。而耶穌嘅降生咧，係藉著童女懷孕咧，係非常之神奇啦。當然，但係最神奇嘅聖誕節最神奇嘅一件事咧，都係唔止咁喎。Are you ready to look at the most amazing thing about Christmas？ 你準備咗啦，係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？係咪？The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. 啊，看啊，那处女要怀孕生子，人要称他的名为以马内利。以马内利翻译出嚟就系神与我哋同在。God with us. 神与我哋同在。Let that sink in for a bit. 啊，让我哋谂深一层啊。Jesus is 
God with us. 耶稣就系神与我哋同在。God in the flesh. 神系成咗肉身。Christmas isn't just about a special birth. 圣诞节唔系单单系一个特别嘅降生。Christmas isn't just about the birth of the promised savior. 唔系净系话一个应许救主嘅生日。The most amazing thing about Christmas is that it marks the arrival of God Himself in human form. 圣诞节最奇妙嘅背后咧，就系佢因为刻画咗神系嚟到以人嘅样式嚟到呢个世上。The Apostle John puts it this way in John chapter one verse fourteen. 系使徒约翰咧喺佢诶福音书里边第一章十四节讲咗。He says, "The Word became flesh, and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the One and Only, who comes from the Father, full of grace and truth." He says, "The Word became flesh, and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the One and Only, who comes from the Father, full of grace and truth." Or as Paul puts it in Philippians two, five to eight. 又好似保罗喺《腓立比书》第二章五至八节咁话 ：，Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a human for ever servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. 话你哋当以耶稣基督嘅心为心，他本有神嘅形象，不以自己与神同等为强夺的，反倒虚己，取了奴仆的形象，成为人的样式。既有人的样子，就自己卑微，全心顺服，以至于死，且死在十字架上。The immortal God the Son became a mere mortal. 一个神圣嘅神嘅儿子，竟然嚟到世上成为一个。普通嘅人 ，the infinite became a finite being， 一个无限嘅成为一个有限嘅人。The one who created everything made himself nothing， 一个创造咗万有嘅，使到自己成为无有嘅。The unkillable allowed himself to be killed on a cross， 一个杀不死嘅神，竟然系容许自己喺十字架上边被杀死。It's overwhelming how how amazing that is. 真系咁神奇嘅事系几咁震撼咧？你话 Jesus, fully God, is now both fully God and fully man. 耶稣原本系完完全全嘅神，而家竟然成为人，又系完全嘅神。When I used to talk to Muslims about Jesus in the Cambrian Greenacre, 我当我同诶啲回教徒喺 Greenacre 同埋 The Cambrian 嚟分享耶稣嘅福音嘅时候。One of the biggest things they would struggle with is how Jesus could be both fully God and fully man. 所以佢哋最难接受嘅最大嘅一件事就系耶稣点能够系完全嘅神，又系完全嘅人呢 ？For Muslims, human beings are unclean and dirty, but God is perfectly holy and pure. 对回教徒嚟讲咧，神同人系完全捞唔埋嘅，因为神系完全圣洁嘅，人系完全不洁嘅。That's why Muslims believe that God is far removed from humanity. So, they believe that it's impossible for God to interact with mankind. They think it's impossible for people to be in a relationship with God. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Because God is disgusted by the impurity of men. Impure and unclean human being. He says, "How can God, who is so perfect, so pure, so pristine, be so unclean? How can God be so unclean, so pure, so pristine, be so unclean?" To them, it just doesn't make sense. To them, it just doesn't make sense. To them, it just doesn't make sense. And in some ways, Muslims are right. But in some ways, Muslims are right. But in some ways, Muslims are right. But in some ways, Muslims are right. 
但神自愿是将他和人类的隔距离是拎走了。He Jesus chose to become a man to save all mankind. This is what Paul says about in Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We did nothing to draw closer to God, did we? We couldn't save ourselves. Paul says we were still sinners. Salvation all comes from God. God saved us. Jesus chose to become a man. Immortal becomes mortal so that he could die for us. It doesn't make sense. It's not logical. But Paul gives us the reason. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. It's love. That's why Jesus endured so much for us. Jesus became a man, became a helpless little baby, because he loves us. Jesus saves us because he loves us. So how can we answer the question, what's the most amazing miracle in the Bible? For me, it's definitely Christmas. The virgin birth is pretty amazing and miraculous. And so is the fact that Jesus coming into the world fulfilled 700-year-old prophecies. But the most amazing, the most miraculous part of Christmas, is that God the Son became the Son of Mary. God with us. Jesus is God in the flesh. The amount of humility, humility it takes to do something like that is just staggering. Jesus, from being the sovereign king of the universe to becoming a helpless, powerless little baby. So much humility. And so much love. And that is our amazing God. So as Christmas is approaching, and as we've considered how amazing the Christmas miracle is, so how can we respond to today's Bible passage? I think one way we can, we can respond uh, is by giving up our own rights to obey and serve God. Uh, one person we haven't talked about much is Joseph. But I think he's a great example of this. 
。但我覺得咧，佢係一個好好嘅榜樣俾我哋睇到。After Joseph finds out that Mary is pregnant, Matthew chapter one verse nineteen says this about him. 当约瑟发现咗佢太太系怀咗人嘅时咧，马太喺诶、呃、第十九节里边话 ：，Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly。话佢嘅丈夫约瑟，玛利亚丈夫约瑟系个义人，唔愿意当众羞辱佢，于是想暗中与佢解除婚约。Imagine what Joseph must have been thinking。你估下约瑟究竟谂紧啲乜嘢咧？当时？ He's about to get married. He is going to get married. And his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's child. But his fiancée is pregnant with someone else's No one would have been surprised if he protected his own reputation and shamed Mary publicly. 咁佢如果要为咗保护自己嘅名声咧，佢会发嬲，做出好多嘢，而诶同玛利亚离婚咧，冇人会怪佢嘅。But that's not what he does. 但系佢冇咁做啊。The Bible says he wants to divorce her quietly. 圣经话佢。